okay guys we are back welcome to episode 37 of going from $100 to $100,000 now in today's video if you stuck to the end of last week's video I told you we are gonna be doing a $2,720 sneaker mystery box it's the same guy that I bought from last mystery box we opened that video will be up here and his Instagram will be right here. You guys are probably wondering why the title says like 3,000. That's just because 3,000 looks better than 2,720. You know, it just is what it is, but it is right here. Now, I'm not gonna lie, for a $2,720 mystery box, there is not a lot of shoes. I'm pretty sure last time, as you can see, it looks big here, but there is probably like, I'm gonna guess four to six shoes in here. But last mystery box, we got quite a bit and it was a little bit less. Now, these are going to be all dead stock, brand new pairs. And yeah, let's just hope we have some crazy heat and that the homie hooked it up for us. And with that being said, I think it's time for us just to open this thing up and see what's inside. So let's do that now. I've been waiting all week for this, not going to lie. Very excited to get into it just because the last mystery box I got from this guy was really good. And you know that we've been struggling to find some good stuff at stores recently, so I figured now is a perfect time to get a mystery box and end our dry streak and finally get some crazy crazy heat now i'm gonna let you guys have the first look just like last time so yeah let me just grab this here there's probably gonna be packaging and stuff all on here but let's just open it up and let you guys get the first look oh no no packaging straight shoes here is the first look. You guys know what's already in there. Comment down below if you saw any heat. But yeah, let's see what we have. And first off, I already know what the first box is. I'm gonna pick it out now just because we already know what it is. A size 10 and a half in the Jordan 4 white Oreos. Let's take them out here. And, and like I said, all of these shoes should be brand new right here. Comes with the receipt and everything. So that's perfect, makes my job a whole lot easier. And yeah, here they are now. We did have a pair of these recently, if you remember, and we sold them for a really good profit. And last time I opened a box, we waited to the end of the video to see how much we could sell those shoes for. But I think we're just gonna do that all right now. So here's the first pair. Let's go look on StockX right now, what we can roughly sell this for and see what market price is for these. And for a size 10 and a half, the recent sale was 500. Lowest bid is $490 and lowest ask is $589. I'm just going to mark it at the lowest ask, which is $500. So that's our first shoe. Let's put those down there and get some more. I see two pairs of Jordan 1 highs in here, so we're going to grab those next. Right here, I mean, I kind of looked already. It's an older label, which is really good for us. I don't know what size it is or anything. I don't even know what colorway it is. I'm going to see what size it is. A size 9, not my size. The 10 and a half, those are my size, but I'm not trying to keep those for personals. So let's see what we have. A size 9 in these Jordan 1 highs. An older colorway, so with that being said, we know it's going to be something expensive. And they are, damn, the Jordan 1 high game royals. These are crazy. Again, brand new. As you can see here, a crazy pair. I love this colorway. Comes with the extra laces, of course. And yeah, a crazy pair here. This has to go for a lot of money. I don't know exactly how much, but we are gonna look at that right now. Okay, for uh, the Jordan 1 High Game Royals in a size nine, the highest bid is $464. And the highest ask right now is $664, but the last sale was $541. But I'm gonna mark it a little bit higher than the recent sale at $550. We are at 1000 and fifty dollars with just these two pairs of shoes alone and i'm not gonna lie i saw some more jordan one highs in there so let's just go in there and grab the other pair this is the other pair we saw you guys can see it first this is the other pair that we saw on the first layer there's another layer down below i don't know what this is but it is a size nine and let's see with a track record we're going these are just some crazy crazy shoes right now let's see if we can keep it going the third shoe is Got some paper in the way, but it looks like we got some Shadow 2.0s. You guys have to let me know. Do you guys prefer the Shadow 1.0s or the 2.0s? Me personally, I think I like the 1.0s a little bit better. 2.0s are nice, but they're just not as nice as the 1.0s. And again, comes with the extra laces because they are brand new, of course. As far as I remember, I don't remember them going for anything crazy, but 
it's a Jordan 1 high and a very nice colorway. They're going to go for at least a couple hundred dollars. So let's search it up on StockX right now. Not going for the most amount of money, but still going for a good amount. A size 9. Last sale was $300, but the lowest ass is 263 and the highest is 355. We look at the recent sales, it's around that $300 mark. So that's what I'm going to market these ones at at $300. So that's how much I think I can get for them. And I'm not sure how many we have left, but I'll let you see the last couple shoes that we have on the bottom first. Now tell me guys, is there heat in here? Are we going to make some good profit or are we going to break even or hopefully not lose money? But let's see let's pull out we're just gonna pull out a random box i'm not even gonna look there looks to be around there's three more pairs let's grab this far right one first and it's another jordan box a size 11 as you guys can see right here and yeah newer label size 11 it's a good size so let's see what we have a size 11 in the Jordan one, I'm pretty sure this is the zoom colorway. I'm not 100% sure what the colorway is. I'm going to say racer blue, but again, I'm not 100% sure on these. I do know these are like one of the better zoom colorways out there. And I'm pretty sure I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure these go for a good amount of money. I'm not again, not 100% sure. Of course, comes with the extra laces. So yeah, crazy stuff so far. Lots of Jordan 1s. This being our third pair. Let's check StockX and see what prices are like. And for a size 11. Wow, I did not know they went for this much. But the lowest bid right now is 340 Highest ass is 500 Last sale was 364 Let's check out what the last previous sales were. Doesn't seem like they're selling quite too often, but I'm going to mark it at the lowest ask again because that seems roughly around what they're going for. Maybe a little bit less. Hopefully I'm not lowballing these, but let's put $360 for these ones. Okay, we have two more to go. And I'm not going to lie, I'm cheating. I'm, I'm touching them, but I'm not looking. And it feels like we have two Nike Dunk boxes left. Let's see what this one is. We have a dunk high in a size 10 not gonna lie i can't think if this is the colorway i think it is i'm very stressed out because i don't think this goes for more than like 200 bucks but let's see what it is and it is this colorway i'm pretty sure this is called like the lakers colorway but i don't think this one goes over like 200 dollars but let's check StockX because I remember these saying at outlets, but let's check StockX regardless and see. Because I could be wrong. I could have went up in price. And no, a size 10. Last sale was 160. So yeah, I'm just going to mark it at 160. And I'm not going to lie. I'm a little stressed out right now. So let's move on to the final pair. Hopefully a crazy shoe because we are a little bit down right now and we need something big. And I saw a size 10 and a half dunk low. That's a good sign in a brown canvas colorway. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what shoe that could be, but hopefully it's something I haven't seen and it's worth like a thousand dollars or something because that's pretty much what we need right now. And the shoe is, um, I, th I think there has been a mishap or something because these are the Nike Dunk Brazils. Definitely not the same box. I don't even know. Is it the same size at least? So yeah, it is It is the same size. So unless these are going for a crazy amount of money that I don't know about. But let's, let's check StockX to see. Not going to lie, I'm a little bit worried. A size 10 and a half. Yeah, it's, it last day was like 430 with no box. I would put it like at... 380 maybe but that still doesn't come anywhere close i'm gonna message the guy actually right now and see if there's been like a mishap of some sort so yeah i'll be back in just a few seconds okay we have figured out what just happened we moved the box aside because like you saw that was all the shoes but there has been a little bit of a mix-up but before that happens shout out to the homie yet again here's his instagram give him a follow he has some heat he made this little mix-up really easy to deal with so again so again shout out to him i can't thank him enough but let's go over everything we have i completely forget the tally and not gonna lie i think i low-key lowballed on some of these but yeah this whole mix-up has got me so confused so we're just gonna get completely rid of this counter and i want you guys to comment down below 
what you think of this mystery box. Let's start off with the first shoe we had, which were the Jordan 4 white Oreos in a 10 and a half. A crazy nice shoe. We've had these before. We had quite a bit of these. This was the first pair that we got. Crazy shoe. And yeah, you can't complain with these. The next one we had were these Game Royals. A crazy shoe here. You do not see these every day. It is crazy to see in hand. Such a nice clean colorway. We had this a size nine. I don't remember the prices I gave for these, but I'm pretty sure I lowballed on both of those two shoes. But moving on from these, were these Jordan 1 Zooms in the white racer blue colorway. When these came out, I'm pretty sure people were comparing them to like the poor man's Dior's. And as you can see, a little bit similar, but obviously nowhere close to these, but a little bit similar. That's why I think the price point is so high on these. This was the third thing that we got. And then going from the bottom half, that's where a lot of this stuff just, you know, I got a little bit messed up, but that's okay because we got it all sorted out. We're going to be keeping two of the shoes. One pair is going to be sent back, and but I don't think you guys can guess which one it is because it is this pair, the Jordan 1 High Shadow 2.0s. Now you're probably wondering, why aren't we sending back the Brazil Dunks? It doesn't even have the right box, but... That will be explained shortly, but we are giving these ones back. We're sending them back to him free of charge because he low-key just messed up a little bit, but it is what it is. It's all been fixed now. Yeah, we're sending these ones back and we're keeping these Nike Dunk High in the Laker colorway in a size 10. At first, we weren't going to keep these, but they're such a nice colorway and, you know, I'm debating keeping them for the toe. I haven't made up my mind yet because at first he wanted me to send these ones back and the box and he was going to send out a different pair, a pair that I'm going to tell you right after this. But I was like, you know, what happens if we keep these Brazils and you send out the pair and you take a different pair? So he took the shadows back. We are going to be shipping back the shadows and this box, not the shoes. And he is going to be sending us the box for these Brazils as well as these Jordan 1 Low University Reds. And yeah, this is a crazy shoe. Unfortunately, the box got a little bit messed up, but it is what it is. Everything got fixed now. And yeah, if you guys are interested in any of these pairs, my Instagram is in the link below. Hit me up. They're currently all for sale, even the Brazils, even though I'm debating keeping them. But if I get the right price, I will be selling them. Link in the description if you guys are interested. And thank you guys yet again for watching to the end of this video. And yeah. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you guys never miss any of my new videos. I'm trying to post more than once a week now. I'm aiming for two, maybe three times a week. As you saw this week, we posted three times, which is great. I'm going to try to keep that going. And yeah, my camera is about to die, so I will see you guys in my next video.